Now that you're familiar with these two tools, I want to introduce you to a very convenient way on which you can generate automatically, either from your presets in the Elements container or your scenes from the scene launcher, a series of keyframes in an animation, in case you want to work with a timeline. This will give you further compositional control and sequencing. So let's see how we can do this first with the Elements container. As you know, inside the Elements container, there is a preset manager, and that preset manager contains all these presets and all these parameters. And as you know as well, the preset manager is a modular component which can live inside and outside objects. So let's go now to our tools and choose the preset animator, which will create a new node for us outside of 3D Morph. Let's now inspect the preset animator. If we see its parameters, we see that in the source page, it takes, surprise, surprise, a preset manager. And the preset manager is now, by default, pointing at the container one which we just saw and taking its preset manager as reference. So it's really pointing at all those things that we had just mentioned, the presets and the parameters. So by now, you should know very well that the preset manager is the most fundamental object, is modular, it contains all the information. So what we can do is simply press on create animation and suddenly we have now a series of keyframes that have been generated based on these presets. So let's inspect that. If you go to controls and you press on edit animation, now you have your timeline, you have your parameters and you have your keyframes. And this corresponds one to one to the presets that we had before. So there's four keyframes. Now, since I keep repeating, this is totally modular. So anything you do in here has no effect whatsoever on the other container here, the TD Morph. So it doesn't really matter whatever you have here, you can now forget about it and simply work from the timeline if you want. So let's press here, Alt and left click to create a new keyframe. If you're not familiar with how the animation comp works, which is what is really inside of here, and I will focus on that in a little bit in a second, I suggest you to explore it so you can make the most out of this tool. So let's create and change a couple of these parameters and see what happens when we activate this timeline. So it controls the node that we were controlling from our elements container. In order to activate it, you have to go to this toggle here and just turn it on. Once you do that, the, the node will react to the curves generated by this animation, which is in turn locked by default to the timeline. So now let's dive in a little bit inside of this and notice that, like I said, the main fundamental aspect of this uh, node is that it has an animation comp. So this is just the standard animation comp that comes in here with the touch designer comp. So anything you can do to it, you can do to this as well because it's just the same thing. So as you probably know, you can pass it as an index, the, the position of the, of the cursor, you can use sequential, you can use cues and so on. So anything you can do is there for you. Feel free to explore it, very flexible. Okay, I hope you can see how crazily easy it is to do this, how powerful it can be, and how you can uh, now create a whole show in a timeline, if you want, from your presets in the elements container. Another thing I want to show you is that it is also very, very easy to play around with the order of things and to compose very long sequences, even if you have a small, a small amount of presets. In this case, I have four presets. So there is an option in here that says use specific presets. If you enable this option, you will see that the field now appears, allowing you to put some string. So the strings that you have to put here are the names of the presets that you want in the sequence. And this sequence can be of any arbitrary size, any arbitrary order, and even can repeat elements as long as they have valid names. So the names in the case of the elements container are these numbers, one, two, three, and four. So let me show you what happens if I put some sequence, some arbitrary sequence, for example, two, one, three, one, four, two, three, one, four. If I do this, the animator is gonna look into the preset manager 
inside the elements container and just take the presets as they come for keyframes. So let's recreate the animation and see what happens here in this timeline. Now, if I observe closely, I suddenly see that I have as many as I have inputted in the order that I specify. So this allows you to be very creative about generating timelines. Perfect. So now what about the scene launcher? Certainly you can do the same with the scene launcher because the scene launcher also depends on the preset manager. So perhaps intuitively you will want to do the following. Create another preset animator and simply point this preset animator to use the preset manager that the scene launcher refers to. So I just need to drag and drop this in here and then create an animation. And voila, there you have it. So if you edit this animation, now we have the correct data with the correct amount of uh, keyframes. And those depend now not on the presets, but on the scenes. Since I have three scenes, now I have three keyframes. So that is a perfectly valid way of doing it. And you just need to activate it. And now suddenly all those things that we were controlling with the scene launcher will be affected by the animation. All right, as you can see here, now um, there is an easier way to do this using the uh, scene launcher. So let's say I am a bit more lazy and I simply want to generate directly from here. You can always go to the settings and press on animation, the animation page, and just pulse on create animation. If you do this, the animation will be automatically created for you, pointing to the right preset manager and ready to use. So all you need to do is activate it and you're ready to go. Okay, I hope this shows you the whole potential of using animations and timelines in combination with this tool from TDMorph, Preset Animate.